ஹலோ கிட்ஸ் வெல்கம் பேக் டு லேர்ன் வித் மக்தும் இந்த லாஸ்ட் வீடியோ ஆஃப் மேத்தமேட்டிக்ஸ் வி ஹவ் ஸ்டார்டட் வித் அடிஷன் ஸோ டுடே வில் கண்டினியூ வித் அடிஷன் ட்ரை டு ஃபினிஷ் த சாப்டர் ஓகே ஸோ லெட் ஸ்டார்ட் ஸோ அஸ் ஆல்ரெடி வி ஹவ் சீன் அடிஷன் ஈஸ் ரீப்ரஸண்டட் யூசிங் ப்ளஸ் சைன் எஸ் ஸோ லெட் சி அன் எக்ஸாம்பிள் here they are saying 2 plus 1 means what you have to add 2 and 1 so how to do it so we will start with the simple techniques firstly we will do this using our fingers okay so in one hand you take the upper number yes so upper number is what 2 so raise two fingers 1 2 yes so this is one number next one more number you take on your another hand so what is that number it is 1 so raise 1 from your one more hand yes so now you have to count these yes let's count 1 2 3 yes how many fingers do you have now 1 2 3 yes so 2 plus 1 is 3 clear with this so you have to write 3 yes with the help of fingers also you can do one more technique is you can draw lines and do it So first number is what 2 it means you can draw two lines yes and there is one more number that is 1 you can draw one line now you have to combine these lines count them 1 2 3 how many lines do you have now 1 2 3 it means the answer is 3 clear with this kids you can do with the help of your fingers or else you can do with the help of these lines okay kids okay then let's see one by one example next number we may take 3 plus 4 yes let's do it first number is 3 1 2 3 yes then one more number is 4 1 2 3 4 yes now you have to count all the fingers 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 what is the answer Seven. So write down. Before writing it, you also try with the help of lines. So your first number is how much? Three. One, two, three. Three lines I have drawn. Then next number is what? Four. One, two, three, four. Count all the lines now. One. 2 3 4 5 6 7 yes what is the answer 7 clear with this kids yes the problems can be given in this way or it can also be given like 2 1 equals this is what equal sign and you have to write the answer here okay this is like a vertical calculation this is horizontal calculation so i hope you know the answer of this 2 plus 1 equals 3 how to read it 2 plus 1 
equals 3. 2 plus 1 equals 2, 3. Clear with this kids? Then you can also write 3 plus 4 equals to 7. We have already calculated them. That's why I have written directly. Okay. Let's take two more problems. Okay. Now, 3 plus 3 equals to what? Let's calculate it. First number is what? 3. So take 3 first. 1, 2, 3. Yes. Then second number is what? 3. So again you take 3 on your another hand. 1, 2, 3. Now count all. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Yes. So what is the answer? 6. Now with the help of lines you do. So first number is 3. So draw 3 lines. 1, 2, 3. This is 1, 2, 3. So count all of them now. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So answer is 6. So while doing these problems kids go slowly. Okay. Don't be in a hurry. Okay. So do slowly and you will get the answer. Okay kids. Moving on to the next concept here. Any number being added to 0. The sum is the same number. So what it means. Let me take an example and explain you. Okay. So say a number 2. It is being added with 0. What will be the sum? What will be the sum? The sum will be the same number that is 2. Clear with this kids. So there is a number which we are adding towards 0. So whatever number we are adding to 0, the answer will be the same number. For example, one more example, 3 plus 0 will be 3 only. I can explain you this one with an example like uh, say here you have 3 lines. 0 means nothing. You already studied the chapter 0, no? So 0 means nothing. So we are adding nothing to this. So how many lines you can see now totally? 1, 2, 3. Why? Because 0 means nothing, no? We cannot add anything here. So 3 plus 0 will be 1, 2, 3. That is 3 we have written. Clear with this concept? So you have to remember any number being added to 0, the sum will be the same number. Clear with this kids? Okay. So let us do some problems and we will finish off with the addition where we are doing sum less than 9. Okay. So let's take examples now. 6 plus 1 is equal to 6 plus 1 is equal to how much? So you can do with the help of fingers or you can do with the help of lines. So I will go for lines. How many lines are there? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Plus, what is the number? 1 means only one line. Yeah. Add them. Add them. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. After 6, 7. So, the answer is 
seven. Okay. So let's take one more example with the vertical problem. Four plus four will be how much? So we can do with the help of fingers. So first number is what four. So take four fingers. One, two, three, four. Yes. Then the second number is also four. So take four in one more hand. One, two, three, four. So now count all of them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So what is the answer? Eight. Okay. The next we will take an example of three plus five. Okay, first number is what three. So draw three lines. Second number is five. Draw five lines. Now add them one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Answer is eight. Okay. So next problem four plus zero. So already we have seen. Any number being added to zero, sum will be the same number. So you have to write what here? Four. Okay. We can also do with the help of what lines? Four means four lines. Zero means nothing, no thing to add. So total answer will be one, two, three, four. That's we have written four. Okay, kids. Clear with the addition, kids. You can do either vertical or horizontal addition. I hope you understood addition. Okay, this is a simple addition where the sum is less than nine. Okay, kids. So for adding two digit numbers and three digit number, we are going to see it in later videos or in the future videos. Okay, but for your and for this chapter, this completes the addition where sum is less than 9. Okay, kids. So, that's all for this video, kids. In the next video, we'll start with the subtraction. I hope you like this video. And if you are new to my channel, click on subscribe button and also bell icon. Okay, kids. So, see you in the next video. Till then, bye-bye. Be safe.